Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are diving into Batman vs. Robin, and spoiler alert, much like these other movies, John and I haven't seen it. Nope, nope, not a once, Coy. This will be a fresh experience, and I'm very excited. Uh, first time watching any of these movies, but also a first even in this series, in that we think this is the first one that's actually a one-to-one, -one, yes. where Throne of Atlantis goes right into Batman vs. Robin for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will finally have like a direct continuation installment in tandem. Which is so amazing, exciting. chronologically <laughs> and emotionally. It's about to go down, so please... Do leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscription bell. Let us know which of these you've enjoyed most. Let us know which you want in your wonky order to be watched next. Because I personally, I watch Fast and the Furious 1, 2. I save Tokyo Drift for after we meet Han because he dies in that movie and then he comes back. <laughs> Everybody's got their own order. Let us know what you'd watch next. We're going to watch it chronologically, but let us know in the comments. Also, please share this with your friends. We've had a blast doing these, but they can only work if they grow. But remember, if you want to sync this up line to line, sync to sync, face to face, and watch our resting faces. Ready? Then become a very sexy patron, and you can watch this entire journey with us as we go through it. But either way, let's get into Batman versus Robin. I oh, no, there's no. Robin, Damian Wayne. Hey. I was wondering which Robin it was. It's James Gunn's favorite. James Gunn's. This is the movie they're adapting. It's actually blinding. Ichabod. Crane? I've half a mind to report you for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> oh! Damien. Good driver. I called and told you to meet me up here, didn't I? Well, what does a town that was wiped out by floods three years ago have to do with the children that have gone missing in Gotham? Oh, we're about to find out. I found it a little odd that every one of them owned toys made here. Ooh, Detective Damien. An alternate response might be, good work, Robin, but I guess I expect too much. <laughs> I'm still a mile out. Don't do anything till I get there. Word of honor, I won't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Trust you as far as I can throw you, kid. He's pretty small. <laughs> Probably throw him pretty, pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford loves these movies. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Robin, justice. Not vengeance. Justice. It's a pretty long mile for the Batman. That's like a minute. Um, what, what was this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could have said 10 miles. <laughs> Sent to prison 12 years ago by the testimony of his son and primary victim, Anton. The son eventually took over the business, did a damn good job of it, until the floods came. Ooh, it's going to be a doll, but a creepy one. All right. Your specialty. Ooh. You're worried about the little ones? Oh, is this an ice facility? <laughs> <laughs> this is aged up. <laughs> Don't be. Ice employee. Oh. oh. I love them more than you could ever know. Ew. Anton Schott died when he was a little boy. I... I'm the doll maker. Oh, he's even got creepy ass doll hair. Ugh. I've done everything in my power to help the little ones survive. Oh, 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 oh. no. <laughs> this is like a haunted house I went to. This is terrifying. Yeah. You'll pay for this. Protect me, children, as I protected you. <laughs> I mean, you're way bigger than all of them. Just Come on. the nubby arm of a kid. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> wow! Mutilated children in the opening act. <laughs> I'm, I'm with it. Wow! <laughs> this is why Pattinson's Batman has to stay separate from the Justice League. Sure. So you can do these stories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was flying, and it was a mile out. What were you doing? Yeah, man. <laughs> well, you're a power saver yeah, mode. Response <laughs> might be. Thanks, Batman. But oh, I guess I expect too much. <laughs> it's a good tie around. See, that's the that's the different Justice League Batman we're gonna get. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Robin, no! <laughs> Just Ooh. chucking kids. Nice shot. I know it was the gas, but it still looks like he, he just knocked out a bunch of, out of children. Kids. 
with <laughs> abnormalities and oh no. You're safe now. I swear to you. Swear to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do like them showing this side of Batman where he's actually like taking the time to help the kids versus Chase. Like, yeah, yeah. We yeah. often see Batman just being vengeance. Nah, Damien's got that covered. He's he's vengeance. Some had to sacrifice so that the others could live. Sounds like Weird Al. That's what he's been up to. As dolls, no one can ever hurt them again. No one can. You want to know about helplessness? Ooh. Let me teach you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn shot! Come on now. Have some dignity. Go out like a tall man. Yeah. Fight him or pull off one of your arms and beat him with it. That Angelica hair. Shut up, damn you. Or I'll tear your heart out. I'll tear it out. <laughs> <laughs> Too far, Damien. He's learned. He's learned. I'm just going to terrify you within an inch of your Justice, life. Not vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> What? Oh! Whoa! Oh! Don't doubt your instincts. Is that a talon? It thinks. I think so. What have you done? He would. He's yeah. the world's greatest detective. Come on, man. You know a knife didn't do that. A battering. You also know a child couldn't fist punch through <laughs> someone. <laughs> Minimum. I could have done it easily, but I didn't. Out of respect for you. Out of respect for your bitch ass. Who did it? Okay, he does. Be. Figure it out for yourself. Okay, I was really worried the impetus of the verses was going to be Batman being a bad detective. And I was going to be very <laughs> upset. <laughs> it's the only way you can get Batman in a conflict is you got to, you know, dumb him down. At all times. Otherwise, he's just too good. <laughs> Superman, but his brain. <laughs> Instead of too much OP, it's the thinking. So they could have easily had Talon stage it where he used a batarang in order to frame Robin if they wanted to go that story. Sure. But I'm glad they didn't make that the villainy. Yeah. It would have been. Yeah. He's got his feather. The, the game is on. The game is afoot. It's afoot. You cook, you clean, you run the household. I'm impressed. Well, you should have seen me in my days upon the stage, Miss Vanova. And my full staff was even better than my Coco Vin. I was a very serious child. Unlike the zany madcap you are now. <laughs> Alfred's the only one who could ever get me to laugh. After three months together, I like to think I can too. You do. But you're not as funny as Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I want to show you. In your bedroom, I'll bet. It's still early. Three months is a very <laughs> weird spot for either of those mentions. Yeah. Like in one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Took you three months, but you finally made me laugh. <laughs> I also love that she complimented Alfred for doing his damn job. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than focus on the demons, on the darkness, on all that's wrong with Gotham, it's time to focus on how exceptional this city is. See, Damien making him lighter is going to be really cool in the movie. Mm -hmm. But before we can build it, we have to dream it. Cool. <laughs> 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 and who might this be? I'm Damien. Bruce is... My ward. We've been keeping me a secret. Only until the paperwork is finalized. Then we'll proudly announce the newest addition to our family. You take in this unfortunate Ooh. child and give him a chance at a better life. You have to do it your way. He can hear you. Please don't tell me she's an owl. What an uncomfortable thing to say to a human being. This unfortunate child <laughs> grabs face. <laughs> no, you should go. We'll have other nights. I look forward to them. I'm with you, Damien. <laughs> I don't trust her. Nah. Though I do like they brought a little of the Val Kilmer Bruce's philanthropy. I do. I do appreciate. She's very attractive. <laughs> I hear <can't> pretentious. <laughs> I've been working my way through Dickens. What I do wrong now? Why'd you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> Blood Haven. <laughs> you ever see the 1948 movie version directed by David Lean? Rachel Ghoul wasn't much of a movie buff. <laughs> I would love to see Ray Uncle's movie collection in the pit, just watching like a hot tub. <laughs> Bubbles going. Popcorn, drenched in butter, and open up the screening room. Dude, I bet Alfred makes a mean popcorn. Oh, man. He uses like the coconut oil instead so it pops a little better. Yeah. Some Himalayan sea salt. This is cute. I like this one so far a lot. I like paternal Bruce. Yeah. 
it actually translates a little better in the movies than the comics f- so far. Like, I don't know if the voice acting, like there's a paternalness that doesn't quite read in the frames. Yeah, I believe that. Oh. Uh. Interesting. I take it this is post movie night, <laughs> or did he just like peace I'm out? out. <laughs> I gotta pee. Ah! <laughs> That's a lot better. <laughs> I thought we were making some progress. You show me a movie, and that gives you permission to keep me a prisoner in my own house? <laughs> Bad enough you won't let me out in public as Damien. The least you could do is let Robin have a life. If you're a little more trustworthy, I would. You've never trusted me. Trust has to be earned, Damien. That works both ways. Big turtleneck family, the Waynes. <laughs> <laughs> they own stock in a There's turtleneck a corporation. Of, a lot of turtlenecks in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Bad suit, bad suit, bad suit, turtleneck, turtleneck, turtleneck. 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 <laughs> I mean, I get it. They're nice. It's like Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about sneaking out the other night. And the night before that? Not so much. <laughs> Where are you going? Out. What about me? I got you a sitter. <laughs> oh, oh, If it's yeah. the girlfriend. It's Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Always a good combo. Always happy when Nightwing shows up every time. My grandfather taught me everything I need to know about personal combat. <laughs> I was trained by Bruce Wayne, and every time they met, he kicked Ra's al Ghul's ass. <laughs> yeah. Trickles down. It's got, it's got, it's got a point there. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no capes. Oh, Punching a child in the face. You're a massive eagle, aren't you? The pure and perfect Dick Grayson. Oh, I like this. Nice, yeah, reflection. Based on what I'm seeing, I was the only Robin. <laughs> You're just some lost... No Tim Drake in this universe. Nope. <laughs> but I'm blood! Ooh. Sit your ass down. <laughs> History of war. Jeez. Gotham's a dark place. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they they just they only show what they know. This is a light day out. <laughs> beware the court of owls that watches all the time. Take care, beware, or they will send a talon for your head. <laughs> is it true, Dad? Is there really a secret group of rich and powerful men who, who send their talent out to destroy anyone who dares to even mention their existence? It's a very specific way to ask that question. It's very bold parenting there, Thomas Wayne. <laughs> it's just a story, Bruce. There's no court of owls. That's why he was so scared in that alley. I know. You're explaining so much of his backstory. <laughs> Your mother and I will always be here to protect you. No. Oh. So are the owls involved? Is Joe Chill an owl? Yeah, it's always interesting how they modify the, the origin specifically to like be ambiguous enough to be all villains. <laughs> Everyone's responsible. Oh, an actual owl's on the case. Yeah. I do love the imagery, the owl and the bat, and like Scott Snyder's arc wasn't that long ago for how much it's influenced. Like it's done a lot. Yeah. I think Court of Owls is only like 10, 15 years old. I was I was surprised to find that when it's I saw the recent. comic out, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful art. Oh, I love Scott Snyder's run. Him and Tom King are like the foundation for me of modern Batman. <laughs> Spy. <laughs> wow. Dude was just chilling in his house. You know. He was in his own nest. That was just a regular owl, most likely. Damien Wayne. I thought it was the court that killed them. Oh, it's little baby Bruce. Dang, that's, that's cool, actually. That vengeance running in the family. I knew that Harbor House was the court's headquarters. I watched them. The 
richest men in Gotham, the most powerful. Little detective, yeah. That's cool, because that way it's not necessarily the, the cause of the death, but he, as a child, would infer. Dad was right. It was just a story. <laughs> not just a story. Oh, Damn. Boot blades. That's natural predator with talons. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Oh, damn. Oh. With a sigh, too. <laughs> oh, cool. Damn. You can maybe use your your ward. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the ultimate nice. weapon. Get out of there, Batman. He's got jacked up. Yeah, he really got jacked up. Oh, no, not the dinosaur. That's why it's in the cave now. It broke <laughs> it. Had to put it back together at home. Take it home and fix this. Whoa. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, serious. Sometimes, Master Bruce, terrible things just happen. They just happen. <laughs> oh, I like that, yeah, because it's like he's not wrong. Right. But at the same time, that's kind of the lesson. Life is sometimes coincidence, sometimes fate. I'm stuck babysitting. No, I'm not kidding. You're wearing what? He's <laughs> just going to bust a blood vessel. <laughs> <laughs> Master Dick, it's Batman. He needs you. No, you're Alfred. Don't lie. Very confusing. <laughs> Please don't hurt him. You bastard. Oh. How about a oh. dance, old lady? Oh, golly. <laughs> DCAU is dark. Yeah. Get him, Damien. Get up so I can hurt you some more. Yeah. We give up. Who said surrender was an option? Jeeps. Men like this don't deserve to live. I won't finish it for you this time. The decision has to be yours. That voice. My name is Talon. Come on. Oh. He is prone to cult-like mentalities. Yeah. Very recruitable. What is this place? Oh, nice. My respect for Batman and all he's achieved is high. But there are lines he won't cross. Perhaps out of fear or some misguided moral code. It's that one. He, he talks about it a lot. <laughs> Eradicate crime and criminals once and for all. <laughs> Damn. I want you to join me when you've made your decision. Use this to contact me. Don't tell him about me. I want to be surprised. Where the hell were you? Out. That's mine. I don't think so. There's a school in Switzerland run by a retired general who knows far more than I do about boys and discipline. <laughs> Joey, have you ever been in a Turkish prison? Try this again. That's where you'll be spending the next year. I mean, will they be able to keep him in there? It's in Switzerland, man. Maybe I'll...
I think that was 1939, the year Batman was invented. Hey. Running a little late, Samantha, but I should be there in about 15 minutes. I'm not a woman who likes being kept waiting, Bruce. I'll do everything in my power to make sure your patience is... Tested. <laughs> Kind of giving me Matrix Reloaded vibes. Yeah. See, like, I think Court of Owls would work in Pattinson, but wouldn't work in Justice League. Like, I, I feel like the Justice League would just be like, nope. But, like, Pattinson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Superman just ripped the roof off. Yeah, like, the Talon's like, boop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But in in a grounded, like, I, noir I love world, the idea of tying perfect. it to that like, government stuff that Thomas Wayne was in in the first one and everything. Like, yes. make it part of the hope. How yeah. deep do the roots go? Secret society and as government Gotham's politics. rebuilding, he discovers it. Like yeah. as Gotham's wrecked, you know, it, he yeah, finds traces wreckage. of it. Yeah, oh, like now would be a great time for like Mister Freeze and the Owls as like a two movie thing. Like Mister Freeze in this one, building the Owls in three. That would be rad. Oh, dude, because you could plant the seeds and like, oh, the Aston Martin. <sighs> what the hell is this? An opportunity. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> And one you should be extremely grateful for. Do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> Comes once in a lifetime, yo. Ooh, the court damn. Who are you? The Grand Master of the Court of Owls. A faction rose against us that even our talents couldn't stop. We were forced to retreat. Ooh. We know far better than the rabble what's best for our city. We have a vision of Gotham's future, Mr. Wayne. And so we understand. Do you? Whoa. Oh. Samantha, how could you? Scanned it with her necklace or something. Oh. We invite you to join your vision to the courts. Together we can raise Gotham City up. <laughs> cool. Cool shot. <laughs> I can't say I'm not intrigued by the offer. <laughs> but I'd like some time to think it over. Of course, Mr. Way. Hey! It's okay, you can use the road vibrations to figure out exactly <laughs> where you came from. Smell the road. Ha ha ha! In his busted up just, car. <laughs> just leave him in the... Oh, that's great. Yeah. Solid moment. Eyes wide bat. <laughs> or, or I guess owls wide shut. Owls wide shut. <laughs> solid. That's good work. At his core, Bruce Wayne is one of us. One of us. One of us. How is it going with the boy? He's taking the bait. Aww. Bait. Some of these warriors are over a hundred years old. You saw what happened to the Talons at the museum. They survived outside the caskets for more than eight hours. And I envy each one of those hours. We've refined the resurrection process. <laughs> Immortality, but only 24 hours at a time. <laughs> After I undergo the ritual that will make me like them, a great destiny awaits you. And I know you will willingly embrace it. it. Doesn't look like that great of a destiny, no, honestly. Pretty goopy. You're gonna be a god that we need to revive every single day and do a lot of maintenance on. Grow scars. Very goopy. He never saw it coming. I was 23 years old, and with those four shots, I. Oh. By the time I was 30, I'd taken half the city. And let me tell you, Big Frankie, he had brains. All over the room! <laughs> <laughs> Crime jokes. It's good. It's a good one. Who the hell are you? On the evening's entertainment. <laughs> we are tonight's entertainment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's gonna show him a magic trick with those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. No. I can pay you more money than you've ever seen. <laughs> oh. What I care about is payback for the lives your drugs have ruined. For the widows and orphans left in your bloody wake. Oh. Finish him. We found enough evidence to put him away for the rest of his life. Finish him. 
He's already finished. Out of boy, Damien. Ain't you the Batman's brat? Not anymore. Ooh. Well, that's gonna go over with Talon. I had a Batman in my life. He was a thief. I was his shadow. Dang. Ooh. Yeah, Catman. Cool. No matter what I did, how hard I tried. Ooh, dude. Ooh. But what could I do? Huh. Oh, in a blaze of glory. I was recruited by a secret society, the Court of Owls. Gave me strength and purpose. What they did for me, I want to do for you. <sighs> he's using you, Robin, to get to me. Well, for your information, he sees something in me that you don't. I don't have time for this. <laughs> The choice you make tonight will define you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Threat oh. a I mean, he did like dismiss him of ten times in a row. I mean, <laughs> not the best parent in there, Bruce. True. Switching to offense. Oof. Using the cape against him. Ah. I was gonna say I liked how much he was blocking at the start, but at the beginning, the defense, it's gone yeah. now. Jeez, dude. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> you are grounded. That is Batmaning right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Literally. Kicking him Damn. against gravity. Oh, protect oh. him. Oh, <laughs> Damn. he literally protected you on the way down. This is what you want. Then do it. Free me. Ah! Right next to his face. No, he killed Batman. No, that's it. There it is. There it is. There's the shot. Now let's go home. <laughs> My home isn't with you. It never was. I like that Bruce thinks that's parenting. Yep. This is how we solve problems in Wayne Manor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just fall off a building. You know, you get it all out. It's the Wayne Manor manor. The little <laughs> <laughs> this is good. There it is. There it is. The phone. That's, that's, that's how good. we do. Our word is law. Since when do you believe in the law? Only one law, my love. My law. Some weird pillow talk, lady. <laughs> yeah. Where's my man Grundy? I want a Solomon Grundy in one of these Ooh, movies. Ooh, wonder if he comes in and point. No. Your transmission is breaking up. There's a thick aroma in the air. Moldy. Sweet. Wait, I found it. Uh-uh. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. You are watching me in the tunnels. We have eyes across Gotham observing and recording your every move. <laughs> Those ancient sewers have been flooded with an odorless psychotropic gas. Yes. That enters through the pores of the skin. Oh. Gnaws at the roots of the mind. Yes. Twisting and winding until it resembles nothing so much as a labyrinth. Oh. You done got scarecrow. Experiencing bat ego death. Oh, he's gonna wake up way better, but it's gonna be a rough night. Yep. <laughs> Trust us, Bruce. It gets better. <laughs> oh, ew. Ah. God, even animated. That it is, still that hurts, hurts, man. He's <laughs> going for the eye. I'll find my way through this, and I'll bring this whole damn court crashing down around your. Around your bullshit. Oh, no, Crime Alley. Oh. oh, but don't hurt my family, please. No. Ah. Ah. Wow. When you put on that mask, you became one with the very forces that killed your parents. You spawned the greatest monster Gotham City has ever seen. The epilogue from ZSJL. <laughs> Jared Leto's about to come in and quote some internet memes. <laughs> we live in a society, <laughs> Damien. Damien, 
No. Oh, oh that's future Damien. No. Oh. I love that. Yeah. Great. Because there's also an arc where Damien's in this bat suit and it's got similar line work. That's great. So sorry. Damien, forgive me. He hugged his boy. It is an honor to present this boy to the court. But we must be certain of his loyalty. We are the court of owls, and we require more than words. Your mask. Oh. Oh, no. We discussed this. <sighs> we did. Oh. Bruce Wayne's ward. How do you... <laughs> that means Wayne is... Batman. No, you're wrong. He... <laughs> Oh, that's very bad. Oh, not good. Imagine how deeply we can hurt the Batman by killing this boy. No, <laughs> he's supposed to take my place in the ritual. Oh, you're going to make him goop. True colors. Now kill him. Yes, Grandmaster. Ah! Oh. I like that that little mask really had them fooled. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard to tell. <laughs> I know this is the glasses disguise universe and all that stuff. Oh, oh self-identity, a lot of reflections in this movie. Talon's heart grows three sizes today. There it is. Make a choice. Yes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Guess that takes care of the secret identity problem. Yep, they're all gone. Oh, here's Johnny. Here's Ali. <laughs> here's Ali. <laughs> what have you done? Oh. That boy and me. Talon, my darling, forget them. The two of us can. The two of us. Wow. That's why he is dating. I thought that's what they were implying, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Bruce Wayne is a complication. God. He has to be dealt with. Ah, no. Wowie. Oh, yeah. Let's gooify. Oh, boy. You'll be safe here till I'm done. Do you think you can stop him alone? Who says I'm alone? I got my goo boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goody. Is this like Lazarus juice? I feel like it must have some mythos sharing, right? Like yeah. rejuvenative, all those things. I don't remember it having that in the comic books, like that tie-in, but... grid up and active? Unless someone shut it down and didn't bother to tell us. Most unkind, sir. <laughs> cool yeah, shot. Yeah, 360 team-up shot. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <Nice. laughs> oh! <laughs> no holds barred, Bruce. Nope. Put on the bat suit, Alfred. <laughs> Come on, Alfred. <laughs> Now's your they, time to shine. They need you. <laughs> Throw some saucers at like people. The, the classic one with the yellow chest, <laughs> <Yes>. Alfred. <laughs> Alfred mech suit? <laughs> Is he gonna do a thing? I was kidding. Get him, Alfred. The owl killer. It's a big cat suit. Yeah. <laughs> oh! No! Wow! My, my body hurts. Ooh. Yeah, you sit this one out. No! I mean, you're not. You're, you're <laughs> just lock Behind him in this there. clock. You used him, manipulated him. If I did, you're the one who made it so damn easy. But not as easy as this is going to be. Ray Shal Ghoul made it this easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, ninjas run that way. Remember that shot? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Learned that in the comments. I guess it must just be more aerodynamic or efficient or something. Less energy use? I don't know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Well done. 
No, truly a Father's Son, Damien. Yes. It's only going to be a little goopy. <laughs> Nightwing, not a fan of stairs, we've learned. Nope. Two different times, opted out. I've received some pertinent information from Master... Open the damn door! <laughs> oh! <laughs> cool. It was the year Batman was invented. It was a true Easter egg. That really, I like that. <laughs> Come on, Gundam Bats. Now I'm only gonna say this once, yes. you sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Get the hell out of my cave. <laughs> yes. Get yes. the hell out of my cave. Sons of batches. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alfred with the pump. Yeah, just taking them out. <laughs> oh, they've waited for this moment. This is so cool. So prepared. <laughs> yes. yes. Back to back with Alfred. Oh, I want a story that's just this. Oh, man. Just smacking down owls. Mech Batman and Pump Alfred. Oh, dude. <laughs> Sawed off. His MI6 Fred. training is coming through <laughs> right now. <laughs> what a G. What? <laughs> With the tails. <laughs> yes. This is among my favorite sequences of any DC just anything. Pennyworth doing the work. <laughs> the Joker card. Oh, more holes. <laughs> the so only place he hasn't been stabbed yet. Yeah. Shoulders. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, In shit. The <laughs> oh, no. You and the court try to take control of my city and destroy my home. You messed with my kid. So <laughs> this is going to hurt. And I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let it out, Bats. All that lack of therapy coming out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> He's going to be so chill for the next few months. <laughs> Crunchy. Ouch. Oh. Is that adrenaline? Oh. Uh. Ooh, boost to the face. Ooh. Ah. With the sigh. Let him go. Let him die. Like you let your father die? Stupid boy. <sighs> he has to die. The Wayne Fortune will be ours. The owls, they'll never find us. Tell him goodbye, Damien. You got this, D? Everything I've done was for you, and this is how you repay me? Then so be it. I mean, everything you've done in the past few days. Also, you were going to turn him into goop. Yeah. Look at me, Damien. It's all for you. You could never replace Batman. He's my father. Yeah. yeah. It's like a reverse Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Don't doubt your instincts. Ah, no. Do a barrel roll. Oh. Ooh. What a conflicting little moment. What a... What a... I'm proud of you. Aww. You, Talia, Race, you're all in here. But where am I? <laughs> this is a monastery in the Himalayas, and the monks helped me in ways that proved to be very... I don't need any help. Maybe I will later on. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He's got a lot of little turtlenecks to pack. So many. <laughs> He needs this time to find his own place in the world. He's a 10-year-old boy. There's not another child on Earth like Damian Wayne. That Wayne wears a low-cut collar to distinguish himself. Sometimes, Alfred, you have to have a little faith. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Go, little Damian. Find yourself, my guy. Sometimes you gotta go on a walkabout. 
A walk of bat. That was bat. cool. A walk of bat. A walk of bat. A walk of bat. That was cool AF. Oh, it was written by uh, J.M. DiMatteis, who's like a giant comic writer. That's cool. That's why it felt like there authentic. That's rad. Yeah, absolutely. DiMatteis wrote a lot of uh, Spider-Man back then. Jeremy that was, Sisto. That's who that was. It was driving me was crazy. Tal- I, was, I knew I knew that voice. Yeah. Damn. So this has like real comics yeah, cred J- in the writing. Yeah, okay. is like a, a, a figure in the in the comic game. That's wicked. Okay. That was very good. Uh, all right, we're gonna see if there's a post credit scene, but I gotta pee there's, before we dive into not, it. Is there not? There is okay, not. Okay, I'm gonna pee and we'll cut there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's, let's do the let's do the cast. Yeah, yeah. Troy Baker's back. Yep. Okay. And Kevin Conroy's Thomas Wayne. Damn. Oh, that's you know what's okay. funny? I literally had a thought where it'd be interesting if if he Oh, oh Al! Weird Al! You were right. It, it was Weird Al! Al! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy right oh, now. Oh, I love that so much. I, I know that man's voice. That is delightful. <laughs> that is so funny. Also, I love the way they use the focus here. In the yeah, the uh, the I focus. thought it'd be funny if Kevin Conroy voiced Talon as a sure. metaphor for that parallel, sure. but then making him Thomas Wayne is interesting in its own way yeah oh man yeah. Back. Uh, i'll be back audience go a few moments later oh so uh i think amongst the favorites that was a blast like yeah, that's absolutely. probably my top like three or four and we've had some like i think overall very positive only only like one or two were, were a dip but like this was still this was up there like this was a highlight one yeah yeah this has been a really fun journey as a as in total because it's like we started out with Red Hood, we and then we went straight to Flashpoint, and there was like such a high bar. Yeah, and then yeah, and then we went to the next couple, and like there, yeah, and, and yeah, I feel like we we enjoyed them, but we were like, okay, but there are things that I I didn't like, just absolutely love as much. And then the, these past couple have been like really super solid, like especially like Arkham, Assault on uh, yeah, Arkham. Yeah, Assault on Arkham is like an all time favorite animated film. Yeah, 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 and this, I mean, I it, it's funny, you know, because of all the, uh, you know. There's been a heavy amount of debate, I feel like, about Damian Wayne and Batman yeah. and stuff like that in recent memory because of the James Gunn announcement and everything. And so this, uh, from my perspective, has been cool because, you know, we're going to get Damian coming up, so this is good primer for that. Yeah. But also, you know, like, I get the sense Damian can be a sort of contentious character. I, I get the sense that people can kind of look at Damian like you might look at Scrappy-Doo or something right, like that. Right, right, right. You know, like, and I feel like it's really easy to make a character like that frustrating or, or annoying in a way that doesn't serve, you know, the overall point. And here I thought they, they did a really nice job of keeping him consistent with the previous movie, mm-hmm. uh, but also, you know, just exploring, you know, the... the f- teetering of the philosophy and and his soul and and you know where he's going to fall in terms of how he you know confronts crime and justice and vengeance and all those things and they do it very exposition heavy but it doesn't feel heavy-handed here like the owls are very like it's a philosophical distinction which is one of the things i love about batman so utilizing damian wayne who is a very hard character to write because he is unlikable in a lot of ways but like there's there has to be like this beautiful core to all of his messiness like the reason he's like that is the damage but that's the reason batman's like that so it's cool to have the owls be damaged a different way and the philosophical distinctions of how they see solving the problem of gotham yeah yeah absolutely and i think they they just have done like a nice job of of making you understand like damien's conflict from all sides and i think the court of owls is a great way Mm -hmm. to extrapolate that because they are so convincing and they do seem like in certain lights as if they could be like the very close other side of the coin from Batman where it's like the same goal, but with yeah, slightly more cutthroat means, which obviously appealed to Damien. And I thought the way they drew that conflict of just him, him, that whole thing where he's like, Oh, I've got all these people in my head yeah. and I don't know who to be. And I'm like, that's great. Cause you know, before he even says that, you're like, I, I'm getting this feeling. And then when he confronts that head on, you're like, yeah, I feel for you because even though, yeah, like you are a bit much sometimes, I get why. You know? And I think honestly, everyone that argues, uh, you know, that that lovely group on the internet where that's like <laughs> Batman should kill. It's such a weak idea to have. It's so outdated to have him not kill. Look at the world we're living in. This it's is the why whole point. That is the it's point of the character. Like Gotham is worse than the world right. we're living in always. And like these stories are <laughs> illustrating why Batman can't kill because then there is nothing. His whole thing is that's the thing that separates him from the people he's warring against. Yeah. These movies show that so clearly and so beautifully because they're nuanced, because they're interesting. Like this movie, I love the pace. I love the way it took itself seriously, but it was still fun. I love that it was a slightly lighter Bruce because of how dark Damien was, which sure. is what I said when they announced Damien. Like that's how we're going to get a different take on Bruce. I honestly think this is a great example of 
what's going to work for the Pattinson versus uh, mainstream DCU and why we need those Batmans to be distinguished and different. But sure. it's funny because that's also, I think, Owl's live action would better suit Pattinson sure. yeah, than absolutely. even this story. So it's interesting, like, this is a great middle ground, but it shows the strengths of them being separate. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, like, they, just the way they utilize all the different elements, like, it's so very focused on Bruce and Damien, but it also feels like even just Nightwing, MVP, every always time he shows just so happy. He's just always, like, I love the function he serves because he does just show up to support, like, what's going on, yeah. usually whatever Bruce needs. But, like, it really feels like between him and Alfred and now Bruce and Damien, there is, like, a Bat family yeah. that feels very alive and vital through these animated movies. And he's, like, big brother to Damien, and it's it's son-like figure, but it's a different dynamic of sons, which I really enjoy, like the older son, but he's not quite son. And I really like that utilized here in a really unique way because I, a Nightwing in the comics right now is doing really interesting stuff. It's one of the best Nightwing runs I've ever read. Like, it's one of the best Nightwing runs, I think, period, yeah. where uh, Alfred was killed and he inherits. Uh, basically, you find out that Alfred had a large chunk of the Wayne money. And gotcha. so Nightwing gets all that money. So okay. Bruce had never put money into the city. He used its war on criminals, whereas Nightwing literally starts putting money into Bloodhaven and shows that great what if Batman used the money for literally putting into the city. So Nightwing oh, cool. is putting money into the city that he's trying to save, and it's this beautiful dichotomy of the worldview of Batman and Nightwing, but in that Nightwing is both a public figure as Dick Grayson and as Nightwing because it's Dick Grayson that's putting the money out there. So it's a really cool storyline that shows the difference between them, but it is also something that we see paternal Bruce Wayne in a different way because he's proud of Dick for making the choice he never did or could. Yeah. And he sees that he was raised less uh, tormented because he sees that he's a good father because that Dick is able to do that. Yeah. Like, he sees the altruism. So it's a genius. Like, it's actually a great Batman book with Batman barely in it. Uh, art is by Bruno oh. Redondo. It's stunning. Uh, written by Tom Taylor. Hi, Greg. Man, you all check it out. But watching things like this and seeing Nightwing... It's really beautiful to see how that could play in live action and sure. how the comic book is a different take. And all these mediums have different strengths. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, this this was cool because this effortlessly felt like part of this DCAMU journey we've been going on. Yeah. But parts of it reminded me of like the vibe and flavor of the animated series. And mm -hmm. then you have the more adult, you know, kind of modern sensibility in that. You know, I mean, this would be a hard PG-13. Pretty bloody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, it's not for kids necessarily, yeah. but I think they, they tow that line in a way that works, and I think that, like you said, is complemented really well by paternal Bruce, which I really like because, you know, every... You know, parents in general, especially from a kid's perspective, like there is like a weird disconnect between Always. who you are as mom or dad and then who you are as like, you know, the, your own individual out in the world. And yep. so you multiply that by by being Batman and you can see that from multiple perspectives. And I like that for Bruce because it's I like seeing that side of him. He's a bit older. He's a bit more mature. He mm -hmm. has. Yeah. Like you can see the goodness in this guy and where he chooses to put it but at the same time when he's out and he's dealing with the court of owls and especially when you've got the like their uh you know zombified henchmen yeah he's just cooking those fools and you can tell he's still got like it doesn't water down the cool shit about batman right. or the brooding nature of the character even though yeah there is a bit more dimension and stuff like and that. having bruce get his screen time in that way doesn't diminish batman which is what you're saying yeah. and, I, and i really like seeing that Bruce. And I also think that's going to be the difference in the two universes is Matt Reeves' Batman doesn't have a Bruce Wayne yet. He hasn't developed that character yeah. in canon and also in the movie. But we can have that with an older Bruce. And we can have, yeah. you know, a Bruce that's more developed. And that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, because, you know, like the more times you check in with Batman, the more you, you need to feel, I think, like he just is a, alive and is a person. Yeah, like, <laughs> a, like something to look to. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I really loved this one. Definitely a highlight for me. Uh, I'm excited for what's next. Yeah. Uh, this was a blast. I felt every one of those into Nightwing. That was brutal. Oh, uh, yeah. So much violence in this one. Great action, great tone, great paranoid, like, conspiracy. Mm. Like, it had all those. It had the action, but it also had that, like, detective noir. Yeah. Like, there's something under the city. Something's wrong here. Like Owls that. wide shut. Yeah. He said it, but it's <laughs> genius. Exactly. I really enjoyed the owls wide shut <laughs> underbelly. It was real good. Yes. Uh, I thought they captured a lot of the things I love about that story. I thought Talon was very menacing and interesting. I thought the parallels yeah. were there. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys uh, want to leave a comment below, let us know what your favorite part of Batman versus Superman is. Uh, let us know which of these you enjoy the most. Like, just you know, 
let's start a conversation. I want to hear from y'all, and we're going to keep going through the DCAU, technically all the DC animated film. We're, it's going to be chaos. We're going to find out what's next when you guys do. Yeah. It's going to sit in this chair, see what happens. It's yeah. going to be exciting. But please do like, subscribe, share, notification bell, tell your friends. And if you want to watch this whole thing, you want to see the moments that didn't make this on the YouTube, check out Super Sexy Patronage to see it Ooh. lined up one-to-one because there's a lot of moments that... uh. We're, we're gasping. I think I gasped more than this one. Than yeah. There was a lot more like guffawing. There was, a, like, Whoa. There was a lot more like, oh, I got wrapped right now. I'm, I'm almost forgetting myself. I I'm want forgetting to I'm here. Yeah. yeah, there were moments that I was yeah. like, yeah. So Whoa. this was great. Really enjoyed this one. This is a favorite for me. Uh, again, let us know what your favorites are, and we will see you very soon. Rejects, much love. Much love.